I got a few more Tate things to get through. So I'm going to watch Joe Rogan. I'm sorry. I don't think I've watched Joe Rogan on stream yet. You know, after hearing Andrew Tate talk, it's really obvious that Mooncat is doing a fake British accent. You, you think Andrew Tate is the real... He, like he's he's literally the one person in the world who has the real British accent. The rest of us are doing a really fake one. <laughs> You've never seen Joe Rogan consensually. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is Joe Rogan abuse. I'm sorry. The Joe Rogan experience. I just what? wanted to hear his take on it. Okay, it's not. It's not. It's not long. Do you yeah, think it's not of, that what long. do you think of all his stuff? <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Oh, yeah, and he's, he's talking to one of the other worst people on the internet ever as well. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right? Like, what is what, what really happened? And why is why is Romania going after him? Are they being pressured by someone else to do this? Like, what what is the reason why they're doing it? And what do they have on him? I don't know. Yeah, well, that, to me, is the right answer. It, it how could, nobody knows. A lot of people are acting like they know. If you go read, well, they want him, which to, is crazy. They want him to go down, and they want him. He represents something. He represents toxic masculinity. The other guy is Dave Portnoy. He he runs bar stool sports, and he's like one of the worst people on the internet ever. He well, he is. He he is sort of toxic. Romanian I mean, he says crazy stuff. They seize his car collection as investigation continues. The one thing I don't get. Oh yeah, he lost all of his cars as well. Oh, Bill. he lost his he lost his thirty three supercars. He lost them all. About this, well, I do get. I understand. People are actually like want the charges to be true, which is crazy because that would. That's yeah. That spreadsheet that he sends to Greta now. That Google sheet that he sends to Greta is going to be very empty now mean a lot of bad shit to happen to a lot of bad people yeah i would rather the charges be incorrect uh, you know look romania i don't know what their system is like I but they're just so obviously true it's like that's not even a question at this point he's fucking admitted to it <laughs> they're like i hope it's not true <laughs> it can't be true it can't be it can't be true Bruh. He literally has admitted that's not even a question. Obviously, it would be ideal if there were no real women who had been abused, but that's literally not a question at this point. I don't know whether they're corrupt. <sighs> I've heard things, but I don't. I don't have any real information. If he really did all the things he's saying, well, I hope that gets proven in court, and I, I hope he gets punished. If he really did that, if he didn't do that, I hope he gets exonerated, and I hope he gets the fuck out of Romania. I don't know. I don't know what he did. I know a lot of what he does is theater, right? A lot of what he does is very, like, satire. He he plays the role of this boastful misogynist who smokes cigars and drives lamp. Plays the role of that. Plays, plays, just plays the role, guys. He doesn't, re he doesn't really think any of that shit. He just plays the role. Lamborghinis, and that's his thing. And because of that, he's amassed an amazing amount of money. And he's done it by doing this character, this online persona, but then also says very wise things. He says ridiculous shit, mm -hmm. but also says really interesting things. He's a very <laughs> smart guy. You li listen to him being interviewed by Patrick Bet David. Patrick Bet David interviewed him after he got canceled off of all social media. And Patrick is fantastic. He's really good at letting people talk. How on earth could you even say for one second that Andrew Tate is wise if he had any any level of intelligence he would have executed his little operation without literally admitting to it on every social media platform and every podcast he could get his hands on if he had two fucking brain cells to rub together he would have kept fucking quiet about his entire operation and you could also tell that from when he talked to hassan all he had to say when he spoke to andrew tate was where's the empirical evidence for that do you have empirical evidence that women aren't very good at driving? Do you have empirical evidence of that? And then as soon as Hassan asked him that, Andrew Tate was literally like, bro, you're, you're boring. You're really boring. Can we, can we stop? Can we stop talking to this guy now? Because he's like really boring. The guy's not intelligent. He's not intelligent. Like he has comedic timing and he's good at being funny in short clips, which is, which is what got him big on... TikTok, like that was literally his only USP, was like being funny in short form. I think that was like literally what catapulted him to the 
astronomic fame that he got to. That's what you have to be good at to get good on social media these days. It's all like short form video. And that was what he was good at. But I don't think he's intelligent. I don't think he's a clever guy. <laughs> and you get to see this is a very intelligent and calculated guy. You might not agree with his message. You might not agree with all the misogynist stuff. You might not agree with, and I don't agree with it. You might not agree with... Uh, calculated and intelligent. What the fuck? No, he's not. All the, the crazy antics, but you cannot deny that that's been incredibly successful because it resonates with a lot of young men who don't feel represented in the media. And he literally reported himself. He reported himself and his entire crime. He doxed himself. All his own fault that he's been arrested now. Do they agree with what he's saying? That doesn't mean they agree with it. They think it's fun. It's like pro wrestling. He's like a bad guy in pro wrestling. He's a heel. He's smoking cigars yep. with his Lamborghinis. and. I think there's probably a lot of people think that, and then I think there's probably other people who take it seriously, oh, which yeah. is where that's where it's a super... Yes, that is where it gets fucked up. Where, where it gets fucked up is like young boys repeating the shit that he's saying to young girls. I love how that's always an afterthought. People like Joe Rogan and, and Dave Portnoy. He's like, oh, he's, he's helping young men. He's helping young men. He's like really motivating them to better themselves. It's also a shame. What he says about women, though, isn't it? It's kind of, it's not ideal what he says about women, though, is it? Nobody's perfect, though, are they? So You would think if you're committing atrocities, you would try to stay under the radar. He does quite the opposite. Yeah, but, but again, we don't know. No, nobody right? knows. That's the problem. Is I mean, <laughs> That's like the know. pizza thing, the pizza box. I don't know if you saw that. We don't know, though, if he was actually doing things that he was literally saying he was doing. We don't know that. We don't know it. We don't know. Everybody saying he got busted because of the pizza box. And then the authorities like, that had nothing to do with it. No, they knew he was in Romania. It was just, what's that word? Schadenfraud? Schadenfraud. Schadenfraud. Oh, That's what hell. it was. Like, he's making fun of Greta Thunberg, and then he gets fucking arrested right afterwards. Schadenfraud? Schadenfraud? <laughs> Schadenfraud? Shitty fraud? Schadenfreude. 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 Again, but what you said nailed it. Nobody knows. I, yeah, I think the latest thing that they're saying is um, tax evasion, right? Isn't is that, that what it? they're saying? I'll be honest with you. I'm Googling them now. I just found an exclusive story on Vice that says the reason he was kicked off of Big Brother is not the reason that was publicly oh. known or what was thought of. It says that he was arrested for suspicion of rape in 2015. Oh, oh yeah. Was that was, the real uh, reason? Investigated over allegations of sexual assault and physical abuse in the UK, during which time he appeared on Big Brother for five days. This is one of the perfect examples, though, of kind of what we're talking about. I, like, I don't fucking believe yeah. Vice. I don't know. But yeah, I don't <laughs> believe... I, 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 how can you believe anything that is said about somebody so controversial because everybody seemingly has already made up their mind right so where to get real information on him who knows you have to take into account all of the fucking evidence you have dave portnoy and maybe take into account the fact that andrew tate admitted to everything maybe take that into account dave portnoy vice Woke liberal lefty I mean I'm not believing anything Vice says. It's, it is literally always the classic daughter wife mom angle. These people literally can't identify with women that they just know. It it always has to be someone extremely close to them for them to realize, oh shit, maybe my mother or maybe my daughter shouldn't be abused. But like they didn't realize that living through their entire life, just like literally interacting with women their entire life and just like knowing women as acquaintances or as friends. It's kind of problematic in itself, isn't it? When you have to think about your, the, the closest people in your life who are of the opposite sex to kind of like realize something like that. I think this exchange with Greta Thunberg is a perfect example of how to counteract Thunberg. that. Yeah. She just mocks him. Thunberg. And, and, and then he gets arrested, and she has the fucking tweet of the year making fun of his arrest yeah. in a fucking perfect one-liner. That's what happens if you don't recycle your pizza boxes. Yeah, right. It's no, genius. It, it, That's why it's good that someone like that is on social media, because you get you get a chance for people to participate in the conversation. All right, that's that's enough for Joe Rogan. Okay, that's, that's it for well, Let's it. talk to Jonathan Gordon, who I think is certain. Uh, a, t a tater tot managed to find his way onto the LBC broadcast. So I thought we'd check it out. You think he's a, f a positive force? Tell me why. 
Absolutely. I mean, it's important to critically evaluate Andrew Tate in all aspects of life. Although he's a political troll and he does tweet out things like Greta Thunberg on Twitter. He's just a troll, guys. He's just a political troll. He's immensely helped a huge amount of men's, young men's lives <laughs> and has helped them become become better men. He's empowered masculinity, has got them in the gym, has, has, has promoted self-accountability and provides an opposite side to the to the left-wing society that the West, the West is now seeing. Empowered masculinity by getting people to the gym. Is that masculinity? Big muscles? Absolutely. Absolutely. It, it requires it? responsibility. It requires self-accountability. It requires discipline. Consistency. What else is more important in life? Oh, oh, yes, but they're not uniquely masculine traits, are they? Look at what happens when men can't control their emotions in the West. You have school shootings such as in America. Hmm. <laughs> Does he think school shootings are, are caused by men indoctrinated by left-wing ideology? Because I think it might be the opposite of that. Maybe. He, he said that men and women are both needed in society. They go yin, yin and yang and together. If you have traditionally masculine men and traditionally feminine women, society is proven at its best. Look at the society. Proven. Proven as best. I wonder what empirical evidence he's citing here. I'd love to see this man's sources proven as best. London is a falling is a falling city, failing city at every metric. Dubai and other parts. No, nothing to do with the Tories. Why the exhortations to hurt, physically hurt and mentally hurt women and girls? There, there has been no instance where any woman has come forward against Andrew Tate and said that I don't need them, them to. I don't need them to. I've got the so words you, So up. you don't need evidence? Again. Multiple rape accusations! No, I've got the evidence in front of me. This is a man so who... What is the I've got it right in front of me, if you'll hear me out. This is a man who goes online and sends out videos and has huge uh, numbers of people following him. And he has said, and you know the whole, the physical sort of demeanour of the, the big cigar and the riches and the cars and all the rest of it. That's the backdrop. But this, these are the words. Controlling women, trashing their belongings, stopping them from going out in order to control their behaviour. How do you say that lady's name? I am terrible with Irish names. I'm so bad at pronouncing them. Sheila for Forty? <laughs> In another, he describes throwing a woman's possessions out of the window to teach her a lesson. In a third, he calls an ex-girlfriend a, a, a dumb hoe. Again, apologies to people for the language. Uh, he has encouraged all kinds of physical methods of controlling a woman. Um, he has exhorted people to violence and physical and mental control of the woman in their life and the women in their lives. And you, you're, un, you're unmoved by that, Jonathan. Yeah, so it's interesting that you grab these quotes. The but I didn't. Bit, I didn't make them up. No, you didn't make them up. He said them. But you didn't take sure, but you didn't take into the context of which is, they were said. Tell they me the context. Taken, they, were, they were said in a jokey manner. Oh! The difference is when it's chopped up into a thirty-second or ten-second TikTok clip. Guys, it was just a joke. He was just fucking joking, which is the way that they funnel these young 15-year-old boys who think that they have edgy humour into the alt-right pipeline by literally saying misogynistic quotes and, and then going, oh, but I was only joking. I was only joking, bro. It was just a joke. But we know that you were laughing at it because that's kind of what you really think. And we'll keep on saying that joke and repeating that joke until you really, really deeply deeply fully believe it because that's the way that the manosphere fucking works it works on jokes you see it happen on on the fresh and fit podcast they will say everything on the spectrum of misogynistic jokes all the way up to <laughs> there is a reason why fgm exists female orgasms are pointless actually female orgasms are problematic and it's better when we don't have female orgasms. <laughs> I'm just joking, though. I'm just joking, though. But that's, that's literally where the jokes get to on the Fresh and Fit podcast.
But they will be like, oh, I'm just joking, though. Well, where, th where the fuck do these jokes end? Where does the irony end? Like, I, I make jokes on my platform. I make jokes on my YouTube channel. Where am I saying, oh, that was just, like, ironic? I wasn't really being that extremely left-wing. That was just me being ironic and extreme for comedic effect. I don't need to do that to, to make a joke. Start questioning why you need to do that. Why, why do you feel like you need to do that? Why do you need to take your ideology to the far fringes to make people laugh? Why why has that become a necessity on your platform? Women bear responsibility for being raped? So that is one thing I don't personally agree with him, but that doesn't mean he's an overall net po he's not an overall net positive for men as a whole. I've actually Secondly, watched a lot of his, I've watched a lot of his content, Jonathan, since I first talked about him on air, and now as tr true yeah. to form, it just comes up when I'm on Instagram because of how algorithms work, and I haven't quite worked out how to control that yet. But is it, he's not just joking. It's not banter. It's deeply serious. He is he is training and and guiding and exhorting boys and men to behave like this towards the women in their life. Absolutely not. He is not. I'm training telling women. you that he is, Jonathan, so, because I've watched so, it. Sure. He sure, isn't so, joking. So, 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 he's it's sure, not no, slapstick. He's he's not Perfect. joking. Okay, sure. So I've been watching him for a few years, way before he's blown up, and I've noticed the increasing trend in people such as yourself seeing this. But where's the sufficient evidence for any woman coming out against him? It's odd that he got banned on Instagram today. That's not the point. But Jonathan, that it's, isn't it's the odd point. That he got banned off that, but then ISIS members and members of the Iran regime are still on Twitter and Facebook. Do you think that's morally correct? Do you think our children should be seeing people get their heads chopped no, off? And no, I don't. But I'm, no, I do not. The Taliban have come out now in support of Andrew Tate. <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, it really is that fucked up. And I'm glad you've mentioned ISIS because I think his MO is similar. <clears throat> it, it is a form of radicalising of particularly young people, but clearly in your case, not just young people. He, he is... He is attempting to bring into common parlance, he's succeeding in bringing into common parlance in schools, in homes, across presumably the world because of the way the internet works. So you keep saying the same rhetoric again, misogynistic, etc, etc. I'm not, There's Jonathan, I'm not, I'm not giving you rhetoric. Sure. I'm telling you what sure. the mother of a 13-year-old boy is dealing with in her home. Sure. So, well, so, don't just say sure. So Answer it. What do we do so about why it? Can't people, why can't people take to the good he says? Why is he? Why are they not seeing all the good things he says about self accountability, about making more money? He has personally helped me. There's like there's there's plenty of other male centric self help guru people out there who also don't have like the misogyny shit woven in there. But like they they don't get as much exposure, and it's like, well, I wonder why. I wonder why they're not getting so much. Is it because maybe they've they've not included something in their ideology which basically tells men half of this isn't your fault. Half of this is the f fault of the fucking liberal elite. It's so fucking stupid. Because I left my job. And? I am now self. Sorry. And what did you do? Before I was no, working no. in. Yeah, tell Sorry, me the story. No, I, you. I was. Exactly, like you can't, he's basically telling people to self-actualize through misogyny, through bringing other people down, rather than to self-actualize by literally just self-actualizing and, and not trying to blame issues on other people. Because if you think about it, that's like the most fucking beta, beta shit ever, is like blaming all of your issues on other people. I'm in the greatest physique in my life. I take utmost self-accountability and I'm moving out of the Western countries in, uh, I am placed in now in the next three months. And th that doesn't sound like a job. What's your, how, do you, how do you work now to become rich? Oh, so I, I was a part of his methods of creating wealth. So, for example, he does copywriting, he does stock trading, he does crypto trading. He, uh, Could you translate that? I love how he's like, he won't, he won't literally say what he himself is doing now to get rich. He's saying what Andrew tells people to do to get rich. He's not saying exactly what he does to get rich. That's how you know that he's just talking complete bullshit here. He's like, oh, well, Andrew tells people to do that. Andrew tells people to do that. What are you doing, guy? What are you doing? <laughs> that for me into what you do and how it earns you money. Yes, we stock trade. We look for companies. We, st we stock trade. We we stock trade okay bro 
that are going to increase in value over time. And we trade that. We use a day trade. The amount of scams that I've looked into, I've never heard of one get rich quick scheme where that includes stock trading, where the actual stock trading has actually made people rich. Because stock trading is basically gambling. It's so difficult to predict what company's gonna make you money or what company's not gonna make you money. It's so difficult to predict that. Like, even when you're right, it's like so many other people are right at the same time as well. It's like, you're gonna make barely any money anyway. It's just such a bullshit way of like telling people that they're gonna get rich quick. Ooh, I'll tell you which stocks to invest in because I know I know which ones are going to make it big. That's the whole thing that Gary Vee does. He's like, oh, I, I always know early on I'm basically Mystic Meg, but for the stock market. And I know, it. like, he got lucky one time. Yeah, we're going to tell you which stocks to invest in because we know, we know which ones are going to go to the moon. If they really knew which ones were going to go to the moon, they wouldn't fucking sell a course where they told other people which ones were going to make them rich, would they? They'd just keep that information to themselves, wouldn't they? They wouldn't, they wouldn't tell thousands of people. And how much have you earned as a result of that, would you say, broadly speaking? <laughs> well, put it this way, I was earning about, after taxes, probably 9K before, and now I'm well over that, and I can provide for my family, and I'm only 23 years old. So I've retired my mother, and I also have taken care of my... You have retired your there. mother? Yeah. <laughs> What does that mean? Is she a racehorse? She doesn't have to work. I, I guess that she's not plugged into the online matrix, but I've I've heard that I've heard that phrase quite a lot before. Oh, I retired my mother, I retired my husband, I retired my wife. It's funny how she's like so not online that she's never heard that before. So she's like, Is she a racehorse? So I say this again, it's called getting swatted, right? So first firstly they ban you, so they they try and silence you. Oh my god, is he literally gonna say that Andrew got swatted, like the story that he told. Secondly, they try and take you to court, possibly through taxes, but through... He actually believed that he got swatted and he wasn't raided because he was sexually trafficking. That's the story that Andrew Tate told the first time that he got raided. He was like, oh, I got swatted. I got swatted. My liberal haters, they swatted me. Through him, they're trying to make up these false accusations of human trafficking. Well, you, no, you, I, I don't know about those. The, you know, the, the law in Romania will have to assess those, Jonathan. Let's leave it there. But thank you for your call, Jonathan in Croydon. <laughs> he retired his mother to the knacker's yard. Like a racehorse. It's one thirty-four. <laughs>